Hi guys! Are you tired of dealing with network downtime and frustrated users in your small to medium sized business? Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a rock solid SMB network system using the power of ERPS, Ethernet Ring Protection Switching, and creating a robust Ethernet Ring and witness its lightning fast recovery during link or not failures. And you can also get a free design consultation for your technology technology system by simply sending us your question through the link down in the description box below and our team of experienced designer and expert will provide you with valuable insight tailored to your specific needs. The Ethernet Ring Protection Switching Features is of paramount importance for small to medium sized business as it directly addresses the critical needs for network reliability and uptimes. In today's digital landscape, where businesses heavily rely on computer networks to conduct day-to-day -day operation, any network downtime can result in significant disruption, financial losses, and customer dissatisfaction. So by incorporating ERPS, SMBs can mitigate the risks associated with network failures and support their growth while effectively managing network resources and causes. So ERPS operates by creating a rank topology among interconnected switches and where data can flow in either direction. This primary goal of ERPS is to provide swift network recovery by instantly detecting any link or not failures and automatically rerouting the traffic through the opposite direction of the ring. This efficient and automated process can minimize downtime and reduce the risk of network disruption, ensuring business continuity. When setting up a network with ERPS, it is crucial to select ERPS-capable network switches and equipment to ensure seamless functionality. Managed switches that support ERPS often offer numerous benefits, some including fast ring network setup without the need for complex configuration. And our managed switches here showcase these advantages, providing support for management features such as VLAN, QS, STP, and etc. So now let me introduce the switches that we're using for today. So this is our 16 port L2 plus PoE managed switch with 2 gigabit SFP. You can utilize this managed switch for any application that requires accurate control, high level security for data switching, as well as real time data monitoring from remote end, and achieving effective management and convenient maintenance for a PoE network system. It has 16 1000 megabit per second PoE port, two uplink port, two SFP fiber slots, two TP and SFP combo ports, and one console port. It is compatible with IEEE AO 2.3 AF and AT standard, provide up to 30 watts maximum output power per port. The L2 Plus managed switch have powerful traffic management, including QoS, VLAN, MAC address filter, and etc. So next we have our 4 port L2 Plus Industrial Managed PoE switch with SFP. It has 4 1000 megabit per second PoE port and 2 1 gigabit SFP port. It can build a manageable PoE network with high stability and flexibility for industrial use. The working temperature ranges from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees. Also adopt dual DC power input so as you can see it's already connected to the redundant power source and also each port can provide up to 30 watts of maximum power output. Down here we have our 8 port L2 Plus Manage PoE switch. This one here has 8 1000 megabit per second PoE port and 4 1000 megabit per second SFP slots. And they both can support fast ring ERPS protocol and allow switches to be daisy chained up together and get a backup connection. So now let's do the connection together. 
So first I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect our router to the network video recorder since we're connecting to two bullet camera at the edge. Next I'm going to use another Ethernet cable to connect the router all the way to our 16 port Manage PoE switch. Let's connect to the link port over here. This is our SFP transceiver and it's usually sold separately because it has to determine what kind of connector and fiber optic cable that you use. So let's plug it into the SFP slot and using the fiber patch cord to connect this switch first to our four port industrial PoE switch. And we're going to connect to a bullet camera using this four port industrial PoE switch. It's already connected. And next I'm going to use another fiber patch cord to connect this four port industrial PoE switch to this eight port industrial PoE switch. Let's connect it here. And for this switch, we are going to connect to another bullet camera. Let's plug it in here. And all the way to the other bullet camera. Last but not least, to form a ring, we are going to use the last fiber patch cord to connect the A port industrial PoE switch back to our 16 port managed PoE switch. So now we have formed the ERPS ring. As you can see, the two cameras is already connected and the video footage is displaying on the monitor. And I'm going to wave my hand to show you they're absolutely a live video. So next, I'm going to open up my computer and set up the ERPS for the switches. First, I'm going to use a cord here to connect the console port with the computer. So let's do it. So after typing in the username and the password, now I'm going to open up to VLAN and let's do a quick installation. Let's type in config VLAN 2 and 10. That's what I want to name them. Spinning tree as MST configuration. And then I'm going to apply ERPS to instant one, which is VLAN 2 and apply data message to instant two, which is VLAN 10 exit them and switch port let me check number 17 to 19 actually to trunk port i'm going to put all those port into vlan 10 successfully add it now add them to vlan 10 Next, I'm going to put the connecting ports to VLAN 2 that add VLAN 2, which is port 17 and 19. Because 18 is the uplink port, let's put this trunk port allowed VLAN 2 and exit it. Done. Now, I'm going to add port number 19 and allow it to add it to VLAN 2. All said and done, now type in ERPS to configure ring 1. Exit it. And I have to add those two connecting port to the ring, which let me add port 19 and then add port 17 which is the two connecting port to the two switches add them to the ring and configure ERPS ring 1 to associate with instance 1 now let's configure Instant one. Next, I'm going to configure the RPL owner 
the RPA owner, not ports, and set the control VLAN to 2 and protected instance to 2, 2. Last but not least, let's configure a timer for WTR feature. Exit everything. And now it's time to show you the ERPS ring. So now we're done implementing the ERPS, let's check out how it works. I'm going to pretend this line is broken, so I'm going to unplug this fiber patch cord from the 4 port industrial PoE switch and the 16 port managed PoE switch. So in typical scenario, when they're disconnected, the video footage from this port, which is the bullet camera over here, will not be working. However, after implementing the ERPS, the data transmission will go to the opposite direction and back to the switch. Now I'm going to wave my hand to show you. This bullet camera is still working fine and it's receiving the video footage from this switch to the monitor. And if you're connecting to multiple PoE switches, even though one of the switches is down, the whole system will still be working, so don't worry. This is how ERPS can prevent disruption and enhance your data performance. Last but not least, we have some more tips on the ERPS. First, look for switches to support the latest ERPS standard and have sufficient port capacity to meet the small to medium-sized business current and future needs. Second, load balancing. Implementing load balancing mechanism to evenly distribute traffic across the redundant links. This can prevent overloading a single link while leaving other links underutilized. Last but not least, network segmentation. You should consider network segmentation through VLAN to isolate different department or services, prevent broadcast storm, and improve the network security. And if you're interested, here are some more videos on the network segmentation. And thank you very much for watching our video. I'll see you next time.